Hi, and welcome to Outdoors and Country Living. My name is Leanne. Why don't you stick around and see how I make this crunchy pickled cucumber salad that's shelf stable. It's going to be good. Come on. Obviously, we're going to start with cucumbers. And if you're a gardener, you're typically inundated with a lot of cucumbers coming in. So cut the ends off and you can really slice your cucumbers however you prefer. Some of the smaller cucumbers I'm just going to cut in rounds. Some of the larger cucumbers you could cut in half or quarter. It's all about your preference. If some of your cucumbers have a lot of seeds in them, you could remove them if that is what you like but I'm choosing not to do so here in this video. So I'm going to be using a lot of cucumbers today, but the recipe that will be in the description below is based off of six pounds of cucumbers. So I have all of my cucumbers sliced and in this large bowl. I'm also gonna be adding some bell peppers Really, you can add any kind of vegetable that you like. You could do onions, peppers. I'm going to be adding some carrots here after a while as well. So really, whatever vegetable you like, you could put in there. I've even done celery in the past with some radishes. Whatever you have on hand. These are some bell peppers that we grew from the garden. It will add a lot of nice flavor and crunch. I'm just using a handheld vegetable peeler to throw in some shredded carrots here. I'm just going to mix everything together. And we are going to be sprinkling salt on top of this. So here I'm using pink Himalayan salt and I'm adding about a fourth a cup of salt per six pounds of cucumbers or vegetables. There's really no specific exact amount that you have to use here. You just wanna add salt so where all of your vegetables are covered with some salt, coated with salt as you toss them. And the salt basically helps pull out the water from the vegetables, and that's what helps retain the crunchiness of the cucumbers once this product is canned. Make sure you're using a non-iodized salt. Like I used pink Himalayan salt, you could use real salt or a pickling salt, but just make sure no iodine is in it. I'm just transferring the vegetables here to a container that can go in the refrigerator. This will be refrigerated for 24 hours, so we will finish it the next day. You can see how the salt has already pulled out a lot of the liquid in the silver bowl. That's a good thing. I'm just not going to add that liquid into my container because more will accumulate and I don't want it to overflow. So just make sure you have a container with a lid that you can place in your refrigerator for 24 hours. So on goes the lid. We will place this in the fridge for 24 hours and come back to it tomorrow. I'm just going to discard that liquid down the drain. I'm making the brine. This is three cups of white vinegar, three cups of water, half a cup lemon juice, one cup of sugar. The sugar helps cut the tartness of the vinegar and balance the flavor. I'm simply going to stir to dissolve the sugar. I'm not going to heat this brine at all. We're also going to be using pickle crisp or calcium chloride. I'm 
dill. This is some fresh dill that we grew and dried. So here it is the next morning, 24 hours later, the vegetables are nice and cold. The cucumbers are pliable. This is what you want. They're still crunchy, but yet the salt has softened them a little bit and pulled the extra water out of them. We're just going to rinse it. It's gonna drain that extra liquid off and that's liquid that's just pulled out from the salting of the vegetables. So just straining it here. We want to get all of this liquid off and then we're going to rinse it under cold water. Since this is a large batch of vegetables, I'm putting about half in there first I'm going to rinse and then I will add the second half. So you just want to spray it uh, with cold water and I periodically taste the vegetables just to make sure they're to my liking. You don't have to get all of the salt off because the pickling brine will help balance the flavors. Now we're just going to start putting it into pint jars. These are just clean room temperature jars. They're not sterilized or anything special. The canner will do that for us. You just want to firmly pack it in there, not super tight, but firm enough to where you have a substantial amount of vegetables in each jar. your vegetables in there to the bottom of the ring, uh, bottom of the neck on the jars. This will allow you to have a decent amount of vegetables in each jar. Yeah, don't cream it in there super tight, but a little bit of pressure. Press it down. This cucumber salad is nice to eat straight out of the jar, or you could drain it, uh, liquid and vegetables, into a bowl and add a little mayonnaise for a creamy salad. Here they're all filled. Next, we will be adding the pickle crisp or calcium chloride and the dill. And there's the brine. Not heated, it's cold as well. So pickle crisp, we're gonna be adding one fourth a teaspoon to each pint jar. This helps retain the crunchiness of the vegetables as well. And we're going to be adding half a teaspoon of dried dill to each jar. You can adjust that to your liking. If you don't like so much dill, that's fine. Decrease it. Or if you want more, add more. Now we're going to add the brine to about a fourth of an inch from the top of the jar. And this doesn't have to be exact. It's not science. You could do half an inch to a quarter inch. You just wanna make sure your vegetables are covered. Good. 
go slow because with the vegetables in there snugly, it doesn't really take much brine for each jar. Here you can see they're all filled with brine. Half to a quarter inch. Next, I'm going to show you two methods of debubbling, which I typically don't do, but here I'm using a skewer, which is quite tedious and a little difficult with the vegetables in there so tight. Or I'm going to show you in a second a faster version. Since the brine is cold, I'm just using my fingers seeding the vegetables down into the jars. Yeah, you're gonna get some dill on your fingers, but that's okay. But you're just pressing those vegetables down under the brine. And then I'm gonna come back through and top them off with additional brine, just to make sure everything is covered. They're all filled. The dill comes up on the sides of the jars a little bit, but we're gonna wipe the rims off to get rid of any dill, any brine, any other objects that might interfere with the seals. I'm just using a damp paper towel and cleaning the rims of each jar, making sure all of the dill particles and any brine are off of the rims. This is important for you to get a seal on every jar. You could use a damp washcloth. That's fine too. After I get all of the jar rims wiped off and clean then we will be adding the lids and the bands. The lids and the bands are cold or room temperature. We follow modern canning practices to where you don't heat your lids or your bands and I've never heated canning jars. Only with peaches. So fingertip tight with your lids and your bands, and these are going to be processed in a water bath canner for 10 minutes. We live in Indiana, so 10 minute processing time is appropriate for us. If you live at an elevation greater than a thousand feet, make sure you check a trusted canning guide for your proper processing times based upon your elevation. There's multiple online resources, or this is available in canning books as well. So a typical water bath canner will hold nine pint jars. I'm adding in cold water. My canner's cold. My jars and contents are cold. I'm adding cold water. Add water above your jars by one to two inches. Now that they're fully submerged, we're going to put the lid on and turn the burner on high. Wait for it to boil. It's at a rolling boil, so I'm starting my timer for 10 minutes at this point. Time's up. I've allowed the boiling to come and fall down before I lift the jars out of the pot. Here they are. The jars at the back are not processed yet and you can see the color difference between the raw vegetables and then the processed vegetables in these jars I'm getting out. This is gonna taste so good this winter when you're craving 
fresh cucumbers. It's as close as we can get, right? We're gonna let these sit here for 12 to 24 hours until they're nice and cool. And then I will remove the bands, wash the jars, label them and get them ready for storage. They should all start sealing pretty quickly right out of a canner. Well, that's how I make pickled cucumber salad in a jar. And I hope you can make it too. We appreciate you being here and watching. You guys take care. Until next time. See you later.